हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू चैनल मेडिकल ज्ञान द फाइनल स्टॉप फॉर ऑल योर मेडिकल क्वेरीज आई होप एवरीवन इज गुड एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ देमसेल्फ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल इफ नॉट डन ऑलरेडी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन टू रिसीव फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम फियोक्रोमोसाइटोमा सो व्हाट इज फियोक्रोमोसाइटोमा this is nothing but a tumor of the adrenal medulla which arises from the chromaffin cells so it is also known as chromaffinoma mostly it is located inside the adrenal medulla but if it is present outside it in thorax thorax neck an organ of zucker candle it is known as paraganglioma so if it is located outside the adrenal medulla this is known as paraganglioma this tumor is associated with paraneoplastic syndrome such as men 1 men 2a and men 2b In men one, there is pituitary adenoma, parathyroid hyperplasia, pancreatic tumors. In men two a, there is parathyroid hyperplasia, medullary thyroid carcinoma, and pheochromocytoma. While in men two b, there is medullary thyroid carcinoma and pheochromocytoma. So it is associated with paraneoplastic syndrome, such as men one, men two a, and men two b. There is a characteristic rule of ten which is associated with pheochromocytoma, which states that Ten percent of the tumors are malignant. Ten percent are extra adrenal. Ten percent are familial. Ten percent are bilateral, and ten percent occurs in the children. So there is a rule of ten, which is associated with pheochromocytoma. This is one of the most common asked question in the exam related to pheochromocytoma. What is rule of ten? So we must be aware of this. now we shall be studying about the pathway pathway of synthesis of vinyl mandelic acid and how various metanephrine and or metanephrine synthesizes we will be studying this in the form of flow chart so with the help of this flow chart i will be explaining you the various a means which are synthesized in the pathway of vinyl mandelic acid which is a final product in cases of heochromocytoma so the final product is vinyl mandelic acid first of all there is tyrosine which is hydroxylase by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase and hence dopa is formed then decarboxylation occur with the help of dopa decarboxylase leading to the formation of dopamine this dopamine is activated by dopamine hydroxylase enzyme leading to the formation of adr and nor adr nor add and adr which get converted into metanephrine and nor metanephrine metanephrine and nor metanephrine which leads finally to vinyl mandelic acid which is the final product of this pathway now comes the clinical feature part the clinical features of pheochromocytoma can be learned by classical triad of phd p means palpitations palpitations occur because of increase in the beta 1 activity h means hypertension and d means diaphoresis palpitation occurs due to increase in the beta 1 activity leading to tachycardia increase in the heart rate so palpitation is the first symptom of pheochromocytoma the patient can also present to you with hypertension hypertension means high blood pressure it occurs due to 
alpha 1 agonist action leading to vasoconstriction and hence there will be increase in the systolic blood pressure but the increase in the systolic blood pressure is mostly episodic so it occurs only for few hours in a day because of the short half life of catecholamines the patient will also present with diaphoresis which occurs due to beta 2 agonist action leading to fine resting tremors so there will be fine resting tremors in patients of pheochromocytoma so phd is a classical tried in patient with pheochromocytoma there will be increase in the sympathetic activity as it is a tumor of the adrenal medulla so this increase in the sympathetic activity lead to increase in the basal metabolic rate increase in the oxygen consumption and increase in the co2 production the increase in the bmr will manifest as fever it will manifest as fever so there will be fever there will be high grade temperature because of the increase in the sympathetic activity there will be increase in the blood sugar and classical triad of diabetes such as polyuria polydipsia and polyphagia will be present and polyphagia will be present there will be headache and blurring of vision because of vasoconstriction so leading to increase in the systolic blood pressure and hence headache will be there there will be increase in the catecholamines and this catecholamines lead to catecholamine induced cardiomyopathy there will be increase in the catecholamines which leads to cardiomyopathy and hence there will be left ventricular failure leading to right ventricular failure so there will be symptoms of heart failure as well in patient with pheochromocytoma sometimes the patient may also present with acute abdomen it occurs due to hemorrhagic rupture of the tumor due to hemorrhagic rupture of the tumor the patient will present with acute abdomen and because of vasoconstriction leading to decrease in the blood supply leading to decrease in the blood supply there will be increase in the risk of rhabdomyolysis and renal failure so chances of renal failure is also there along with cases of heart failure now we shall be discussing about the investigation part how will you investigate a patient with pheochromocytoma first and foremost 24 hours urinary assay of adrenal hormone is done urinary assay of adrenal hormone is done here i will be differentiating between the normal values and the values in patient with pheochromocytoma the metanephrine value will be less than 1.3 mg per day in normal patient while it is more than 1.3 mg per day in tumor patient while vma value is less than 7 mg per day while more than 14 mg per day in cases of pheochromocytoma so this is how you will differentiate on the basis of urinary examination we can also do certain radiological tests such as mri abdomen can be done to locate the tumor to locate the tumor we can do mri abdomen and if the size of the tumor is less than 1 cm we can do we can do mibg scan and this the guanidine is taken up by the chromogram and cells and which is taken up by the gamma camera this is how the mibg scan is done now comes the treatment part of it phenoxybenzamine it is a non selective irreversible and non competitive inhibitor alpha inhibitor it is given at a dosage of 10 to 20 mg bd it can be increased to 20 to 30 mg bd and maximum dosage of 80 to 250, 240 mg bd can be given but there are certain side effects of phenoxybenzamine it has a long duration of action as it is an irreversible blocker and it may cause decrease in the blood pressure in the post operative period so we should be watchful 
on the blood pressure reading prazosin terazosin and doxazosin these are alpha blockers these are the alpha blocker which are also used in the drug treatment of pheochromocytoma and it is given at a dosage of tablet prazosin is given at a dosage of 1 mg tds and there is a characteristic first dose phenomena associated with this drug so it is always given in the night time the beta blockers are also given if the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute these are given if the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute so this is how you will manage a case of a pheochromocytoma so thank you guys for watching this short video on pheochromocytoma i hope everyone understood this lecture well please do subscribe our channel if not done already and press the bell icon button to receive further notification kindly do follow us at www.medicogyan.com and stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you